Right, hello everybody, welcome back to the Weed Farms YouTube channel. Today we're in Beeman G Drive. First neutral drop. Oh, traction control. Ah, uh, traction control's kinda, you know, kills ya. Gotta back up. And throw it right into drive. See if we can get some wheel spin. Oh yeah, very nice. I don't know what engine's in this thing. Probably a small V8. That's how you do it in the city of New York. Boss isn't around. You take the work van. Have some fun. Alright. Hey man, this thing's pretty cool. Do a donut with it. Uh, not quite. I don't think this thing can swing. Man, you think it would be able to, but oh hey, it's swinging alright right there. Hey. This thing's a performer. It's overheating already. Figure we start off the YouTube video with uh, a couple rocking horses, a neutral drop. Maybe a burnout if we can. Can we go from stop to burnout? Can hold the brake enough. Oh, the piston rings. Oh. We gotta open up the door. We gotta go look. Uh oh. Oh. Uh oh. Boss isn't gonna be happy. Better hurry up and go get this thing fixed. Uh oh. It has no power. It's barely going up this hill. Alright, we're good. We'll make it to the mechanics. Gotta get there fast before the boss realizes the van's broke. Oh, we're gonna miss our... Got to throw up in reverse. I planned that. Right, we gotta whip this thing in here. Alright, so is it looking like you can fix it? N no. But why can't you fix it? Oh, man, I mean, it barely drove here. Yeah, it should be perfectly fine. Yeah, I... Got any vans that I can go look at in your lot? All right, let's go look. Oh, I like this van. How much is it? Three grand? Perfect. Here, I got my checkbook on me. All right, there you go. The boss will never know. Runs perfectly fine. Still has a bunch of power. But yeah, Boston. No. Gotta hurry up and get back to the job site. Make sure you use your blinker. Be respectful. Gotta pull up to. Gotta pull up there to the boss. Oh, I don't think we need more speed to get up there. Also, traction controls off too. Now it is. Okay, we can get her up here. Oof. <clears throat> hey, yeah, boss, I'm uh, I'm back. You know, with the van, everything. I uh, just got an oil change on it. Why is it? Why is it different? Different color. Uh, yeah, it's a long story. Hey, I'm gonna go take uh, I'm gonna go take my van. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go take it to the wash. It's a little dirty. Oh, well, that's nice. Out of a job. Uh 
Yeah, for fun, we might as well wreck this $3,000 van. And I'm telling you, it's all based on color. White van, guarantee this thing does better burnouts. Well, hey, at least this one did a burnout. Yeah, it ain't half bad. I think it just because the tire's deflated. Alright, yeah, this thing, this thing approves. I approve of this thing, it's pretty good. This thing passed the test. Alright. Well, yeah, that's all boring. You, you didn't come to the Wade Farms YouTube channel to see that. But I know what you did come to see. You already know this is a busy pigeon. Now, what kind of pigeon is this? Hold on, I'll be right back. Yep, sorry, I gotta... Hey, where's the lock to this? I gotta go to the bathroom. Hey! Well, uh, guess I'm just gonna have to hold it. Alright. Whoa, this thing just did a wheelie. That was cool. Hold on. Red line? Oh! Well, maybe it could only do them uphill. I'm not sure. Oh! Oh, we stalled it. <laughs> All right, now we're going to the off-road section of this YouTube video. I think this thing's a three-speed. Ah, the steering's already, I think, kind of off a little bit. You gotta hold on the clutch and rev it a little bit. We're not gonna go and take a trail. We're just gonna go straight off to the road. We're gonna just straight off-road it. Man, just right off road, right away. Uh oh. <laughs> hey, we at least we landed it. Um, I guess I can go to the bathroom now. All right, I still think this thing's got some left in it. Oh yeah. She's still driving, folks. She's a runner and a driver, that's for sure. Uh, engine's kind of weak now, but hey, that's all right. Never stopped in a biz you pigeon. These things are always fun and uh, don't cost anything, so that's nice. Wait. Is that what I think it is? Is that towing hitch? All right, so you just got done off-roading, and now uh, you want to hook back onto your camper. You forgot your big diesel pickup. So what do you use? You already know we're using the pigeon. Perfect. Now I'll be able to get to the campsite, no problem. All right, so overall, um, feels like this thing barely, actually it has a decent amount of power. Uh, steering feels like it's not there at all. Oh, feel like feel like I'm gonna crash. Feel like uh, feel like we crashed pretty uh, pretty quickly. Um, so I don't know if you want to get one of these things for towing, but I know what the problem was. It just wasn't enough weight. So your buddy has his big F three fifty. I I can't use Ford. So your buddy has a big uh, Dodge Ram thirty five hundred, and he blew the transmission. Because that grade of uh, hill right there, that grade, too much of a downgrade, you know, didn't have his uh, diesel exhaust brake. So, uh, what do you do? You take the pigeon and you finish towing his load. Just got a hook on. Okay. Um, hey, at least the back tires are still on the ground. Oh, 
Okay, this is gonna be, this is gonna take a long time. Oh, we kind of got it moving. Uh-oh. Clutch overheating? <laughs> Uh-oh. All right. So one thing the pigeon can't do is... Or move. Uh-oh. That's probably not good. I was going to say the only thing it can't do is tow, but I guess it can't. What's... Ah, there we go. Okay, so maybe this uh, this pigeon can't tell, but maybe the van that um, had the uh, the damaged piston rings can tell this forty thousand pound load up a hill. Oh, it's just barely running. It'll do it. Yeah, this thing has like three times the power than a pigeon does, while this thing's piston rings are damaged and it's running on like three drops of oil and two ounces of gas. Has way more power. You know, and the oil change hasn't been done for like 20,000 miles, so it's so like, you know, chunky. So yeah, the, the oil, you know, it's that's why it's overheating, you know, I have an excuse. But hey, at least we still use the blinkers, even though we're smoking out traffic behind us, at least we still use the blinker. Did we just... Okay. Um, never mind. We just locked the engine trying to go up a hill. <laughs> Alright, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the YouTube video. If you did, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and the bell post notifications. Uh, I can tell you one thing. This, uh, this van certainly didn't make it... What? 15 feet up a hill? Well, anyways, hope you all enjoyed. Catch you guys next time. Leave far.